Hi, it is a perfect day in Cota de Casa. I'm on the North Golf Course on the fourth hole. Here's our lake, and here is our laurel sumac. In Spanish, this is lentisco. In Latin, it's melosma lorina. It's also known as, previously, as rus lorina. This is a large, evergreen, rounded shaped shrub. It grows 10 to 20 feet high and 20 feet wide. Now this is a staple textbook California plant. It's found only in California, Southern California, and Baja California. It's super common in Kodo. It's a cousin of the poison oak, the lemonade berry, the sugar bush, and the royal purple smoke bush. So let's take a closer look at our laurel sumac. So the stems are purple and they're very flexible. And the leaves, they alternate as they go up the stem. One here, one here, one here, one here. So they alternate all the way to the flowers at the tip over here. And the leaves, they're attached by a petiole, a long petiole. They're not directly attached to the stem. And the leaves themselves are taco shaped. So you see it's like uh, shaped like a taco. All right, that's the signature shape of a laurel sumac leaf. Now it's shaped like a taco to help reduce um, direct sunlight and reduce the transpiration of water off the leaves. As well, any moisture or dew that gets in the leaves falls off the leaves directly down to the roots. Now they are very smooth leaves. They're not serrated on the end, like uh, let's say like a toyon or one of the other sumacs. And it's also called like a lance shape. So it's thicker on the bottom and it tapers up to a point at the end. This is an evergreen plant, so it's uh, green all year, and it accomplishes this task by having super deep tap roots, sometimes 10, 20 feet deep, and a constant supply of sap that runs from the roots up through the stems to the flowers. And when you walk through the chaparral environment in our hills or the oak woodlands where these plants are, you'll have this distinct chaparral-like smell. And that is the sap from these plants. So you always find these plants in those environments where you have that, hey, it kind of smells like chaparral. Well, that's your loyal sumac. Now the flowers, they grow in very large clusters at the end of the stems and they bloom in spring and in summer, so twice a year. Now each flower has five white petals, which look a bit like lilac, and five lobed green sepals. Now sometimes the flowers are tinged with pink or green, sometimes they're white, and each flower produces only one seed inside a fleshy tissue type fruit called a droop. Now the flowers have that same woodsy smell of the chaparral, this sort of smells like apples and turpentine. Now the word melosma in Latin actually means apples or odor. So that's how you get the genus melosma for this plant. Now, of course, as you could tell, these are great pollinators with lots of bees throughout this plant. This cluster has two bees. This cluster also has two bees. Here we have a few more. So fantastic pollinator. So is this plant toxic? Well, you might get some contact dermatitis if you are sensitive to plants like cashews or mangoes, or if you're overly sensitive to poison oak. Now there are some good uses for this plant. Now first, laurel sumac does not like the cold. So as a farmer, if you're growing oranges or avocados, and you come across a batch of laurel sumac that survived, then you know you have a very good environment for growing your citrus. Native Americans also use this as a tea, and it's also very good for construction. The branches of the laurel sumac are very slender and long, and so therefore, they're also very pliable and bendable, and so you can shape them and weave them and intercross them to help build your house or your little structure or your roof out in the wilderness of the chaparral. Now, finally, you could take these really tiny flowers 
and you can make them into trees if you're building like a model railroad city. They're terrific for that purpose. Just look at those little, little trees you could build. Up here on the 17th green of the south course, down in the corner, we have another beautiful specimen of Laurel Sumac. Now this has the taco shaped leaves, the flowers, the bees, the reddish stems. Just a great, great example of this terrific bush. So I hope you enjoyed that quick video and have a great day. Bye.